Garfield. What happened to my favorite record? I scratched it. And what happened to the lasagna I fixed for dinner? I ate it. Garfield, why is it you scratch, eat, and destroy everything in sight? I can't help it. I'm a slave to my passions. I'm sorry, Garfield. If you didn't do those things, you wouldn't be my cat. I love you for what you are. That's okay. Um, what happened to my fern? Don't ask. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to. When you feel like you're ready to flip. When you've got the world on your shoulders. Friends are there to give you a tip. Friends are there when you need them. They're even there when you won't. For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark. Friends are there. I don't care. But friends will care for you. Today, featuring Binky the Clown, so turn up the volume, kids. Call the case, bailiff. The state versus Binky the Clown. Sound time, send in the clown. <laughs> Binky doesn't deserve to be in jail. Binky Clown, have you ever been up before me? I don't know, Your Honor. What time do you get up? <laughs> no, maybe he does. Take the stand. Where do you want me to take it, huh? Your Honor, we intend to prove that this... this clown is guilty of robbery, grand theft, and burglary in the first degree. I have written out the charges. That's odd. Where are my briefs? Hey, did you lose these? <laughs> it looks bad for Binky. I'll say. Three more of these jokes and he may get the chair. Binky, what have you to say about the DA's charges? I think if he uses a credit card, he ought to pay him! <laughs> I can't take any more of this. Binky behind bars. How can I find out what led to this? I know. Let's see. This is the script of today's show. I'll go back a few pages. Binky was your average, honest, horrendously annoying clown. Everyone loved Binky. Everyone who owned earplugs, that is. But there was one man who not only hated Binky, he had an idea. <laughs> Binky, you're gonna make me a fortune. His name was Stinky Davis, and he was wanted in 12 states and not wanted in all the others. In his earlier days, Stinky had been a clown himself, but he was thrown out of the clown union for making naughty balloon animals. Now, he disguised himself as an exact duplicate of Binky and... Oh no, it's... It's an evil twin story. It's come to that. Soon, Stinky began a crime wave. No one was safe from him. Hey, jewelry store owner! I got a lemon meringue pie, and I know how to use it! Ah, the Klopman Diamond! <laughs> Soon, he had enlisted a whole gang of clowns to spread his terror. Help! Oh, no! Oh, the police were on the job. But they were no match for being, I mean, stinky. I can't see! All units, be on the lookout for a clown. Red nose, orange hair, feet size 37. 
In no time at all, they'd identified their suspect. Reach for the trapeze, clown! That's when Binky made his mistake. He ran, or rather, he blew. He's getting away! There he goes! After him! He went into that bakery. Come out and there'll be no trouble. Get back. He's armed with custard. That bakery's well stocked. He can hold up in there for days. Dispatch, we have a 708 out here. That's right. Clown barricaded inside bakery with pies. We need the baked goods SWAT team. Binky, this is the police. We have the place surrounded. Put down your meringue and come out with your hands up. Do you understand? Yeah, I hoped it wouldn't come to this. The police tried everything. Binky, we have your mother out here. Please, come out. Okay, I'm through being Mr. Nice Clown. Bring in the secret weapon. <laughs> Clowns is so stupid. Binky was quickly ID'd. That's him! That's the one with the round red nose! I'd know him anywhere! And so Binky was brought to trial. There must be a way to prove his innocence. I wonder where Stinky the Clown is now. Probably hiding somewhere. Of course! If a clown wants to hide, Where's the best place? In a circus. And in summation. I demand that this clown be sent to prison for the next 99 years! Whoa, what's going on? Look at him here! What's going on? Come on, get back! Look out! Your Honor, I object! He's turning this courtroom into a circus! Uh oh. There's two binkies! Which one is the real one? Yeah, I'm real, Binky. No, that's no, mine. I never lied to him in my life. No, it would be him. That's not me. How can we tell which is the real Binky? Uh -oh. Um, just read this line of dialogue, your judgeship, sir. All right. What is this you're showing me, kitty cat? Order in the court. I don't have a ham on rye. Hold the mayo. <laughs> There's the real Binky. Arrest that phony. You can't do this to me! I'll get you for this, cat! The real Binky could never resist a very old joke. Garfield, you're a hero! I'll bet Binky wants to thank you! Hey, cat! I owe you a big favor! So from now on, I'm gonna visit you every day and bring you lots of surprises! Like this! I'll make your life so much fun! Maybe I made a mistake. <laughs> oh boy, do they look stupid! <laughs> I meant to do that. The boy 
barns loaded to capacity with vegetables. Ah, uh, but where are we gonna sleep? Every building's filled with crops. Oh, I'm sure there's still enough room for us to sleep in here. He's been squashed. By squash! <laughs> the farmer's almanac says it's gonna rain tonight. I don't want to sleep out in the rain. Why don't we stay out in the old barn tonight? The, the, the old barn? <laughs> no sorry. Uh-uh. Negative. No way, Jose. Yet. Nine. The old barn is haunted. <sighs> really? Yeah, uh, sure. The legend of the old barn has been passed down from generation to generation. Tell us the story, Orson. Well, many years ago... Let me tell it, Orson. Let me, let me. You always get to do the flashback. Be my guest. <laughs> well, a long time ago, when our ancestors came here as pioneers, the frontier was wild. So life was dangerous for farmers. They needed to constantly protect themselves from vegetable thieves. That is why they built the old barn and pledged with all their might to defend the crops. And as the legend goes, their ghosts still live there, watching over the farm. Wow! Guys, there are no such things as ghosts. Well, uh, uh, hey. You can say that again. <laughs> the old barn is a good place to stay until the rain stops. Tomorrow, we'll go steal all the vegetables Orson just harvested. Hey, somebody's coming. It's our stupid little brother and his friends. If they catch us here, it's gonna ruin our plans. Then, we'll just have to scare him away. <laughs> this place is filled with antiques. It's an education in the way work used to be done on the farm, before modern machinery. I'll bet no one's been in here for years. Yeah, let's keep it that way. Wait, what are you afraid of? Oh, only everything. Let's go to sleep. Do you hear anything? Why do you? Nope. Hold it. Do you realize what we all sound like? What? We sound like you. Oh. That bad. The ghosts are gonna get us. They'll haunt us and slime us. If Orson says there are no such things as ghosts, then I believe him. <laughs> He's a pig. What does he know about this stuff? Um, <clears throat> uh, all in favor of running in terror, say I. I. Well, it's unanimous. <laughs> Nothing in this world is stopping me from walking out that door. Except him. Be the first to go. Hey, you go first. No, 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 you, no, you, no, you, not me, you, no, 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 you, you, first, second, third, slow. Orson, wake up! Huh? Ghosts all over the place. These are not ghosts. These are my brothers. Orson, you're on top of everything. Well. Maybe not everything. Don't waste your time struggling. The rain stopped and the sun's almost up. Almost time to harvest. <laughs> We're taking every last radish in that barn. And there's nothing you can do to stop us. Hey! Oh, no, wait! Oh, wait, 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 wait
I don't know, but we're getting out of here, too. Orson, I thought you said there are no such things as ghosts. Uh, there aren't. There was probably an earthquake. Yeah, an earthquake knocked all those things on them. <laughs> that great-great-grandson of mine just does not believe well, we drove those vegetable thieves off. Forsooth, things haven't changed much since thy and my day. Tis a pity. Don hey! Ghosts! Brother Doc, thou art a ghost too. Ha-ha! <laughs> Rightly so! I keepeth forgetting, Forsooth. And now it's time for Screaming with Binky. We're at Cedars of Muncie Hospital, where at this moment, famed brain surgeon E. Thomas Hughie is performing delicate surgery. This is the most delicate part of the operation. It requires steady hands and microscopic precision. We are ready for the final procedure. Absolute quiet, everyone. happened here in a hospital! The whole place is full of doctors! Don't go away, folks. But I don't need anything removed! I don't need anything removed! We'll be right back. <clears throat> From time to time on this show, we like to bring you something a little educational. No, no, don't change channels. It's not that educational. Today we're going to discuss an important new development in the world. The Mini Mall. What is a Mini Mall, you ask? A Mini Mall is a whole bunch of stores you'd never go to except that they're all together so it's convenient. Mini Malls are springing up all over. Some people wonder how companies are able to build them so fast. Well, the secret is, mini malls aren't built, they're grown. Observe. When a likely looking site is picked, a worker arrives and digs a small hole, like this. Next comes the mini mall seed. The seed is covered over, and then comes the next step, watering. Okay, Odie, let her go. Be very careful to use water, not oil or you might accidentally grow a gas station. Next comes the hard part, waiting. It takes a what? Hold on. I think it's taking effect. It's starting to work. Yes, it's working. We have just grown a new mini mall. Let's take a closer look at what goes into a mini mall, shall we? This is a mini market. This is a mini cafeteria. And this is a mini pharmacy. We were going to show you a mini mouse, but she's on another show. <laughs> Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. I'm in the middle of my lecture. In addition, every mini mall has one of the following types of store. A dry cleaner, a copy place, a store that sells Chinese food, a place to rent videotapes, a one-hour photo processing shop. The one-hour photo processing shop is my favorite. It's for people who can't remember what their friends looked like 60 minutes ago. Your average mini mall has 17 stores, 58 employees, and of course, around four places to park. It's also required by law that every mini mall have at least one store selling croissants and or soft frozen yogurt. <laughs> Not now. I'm busy. 
In most stores at the mini mall, you'll be asked to take a number. Do so and quietly wait your turn. Number three. Number three. Let's see what number I have here. Hmm. 3,478. This could take a while. Four. Anyone have number four? Last call for number four. Number five. 3,478. Last call. Wait. That's me. People will be courteous and polite when you visit the mini mall. You should respond the same way. Welcome to Fred's Croissants and or Soft Frozen Yogurt. Today's flavors are vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, cherry, pineapple, peach, cheese dip, bubblegum, tutti frutti, apricot, liver, spearmint, and mocha. Have a free sample. What? No lasagna flavored? Have a nice day. <laughs> All right already. What is it? The water is still on, irrigating the mini mall land? But that means it's flooding and... Oh no! It's floating away! We gotta catch it! Faster, Odie. It's heading for the ocean. And if it gets there, there could be a bad soft frozen yogurt spill. Ah! We're too late, Odie. It's heading out to sea. Ah. Oh well, it's not like there's a shortage of them. Let's go back and grow another. Ladies and gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, we have to conclude this look at today's modern mini mall. Paddle faster, Odie. I'm late for lunch. Mini malls? I've been shipwrecked here for 20 years. I've never seen them. Boy, they're building those things everywhere these days. And last, I haven't eaten in months. Quick, give me something to eat. Anything. For better service, please take a number. I have number 2,912. Number six. Anybody have number six? Last call for six. Seven. Anybody want to trade numbers? 